Sabani Basu heads up a team working on a revolutionary technique to detect sunspots well before they are seen from Earth. Unlike the moon that shows us just one of its faces, the sun rotates. So if there's a strong sunspot on the far side of the sun, it could be a problem because in a week or two, it would face us and there's a potential for a big solar storm. It takes about 27 days for the sun to rotate once. So if a potentially dangerous sunspot appeared on the far side, scientists wouldn't know. But Sabani overcomes this by listening for them. You see the ripples that are produced when I threw the rock in the water. These are waves and some of the waves are going fairly far, but a lot of the energy is going inside, deep inside. That's what happens on Earth when there's an earthquake. An earthquake happens, say, here. The energy as sound waves go deep inside and they can be detected at different places on Earth. Now, exactly the same thing happens in the sun. The sun quakes all the time. The outer layers of the plasma on the sun, they are a boiling, churning mass. They keep the sun shaking, ringing like a bell. These sound waves travel throughout the entire structure of the sun. And remarkably, they can be detected by Earth-based observatories. So, assume this is the cutout of the sun. So we're seeing inside the sun, and that's the center. So the waves, just like the waves caused by earthquakes on Earth, they sort of travel around. Now let us assume the Earth is somewhere here, and we are looking at the sun in this direction. So if there's a sunspot here, there is absolutely no way we would know, looking from here, that there's a sunspot there. Now, the sunspots have strong magnetic fields, which changes the speed of these waves. So if you have waves that go through the sunspot, they become faster than waves that do not go through sunspots, which means they arrive at this point where we're observing them at slightly different times. And the time difference between them actually allows us to detect that there's a strong sunspot on the far side. Using the technique, Sabani can accurately detect where sunspots are hidden on the far side of the sun. And she can also predict how many and how big they are. But most importantly, how long until they have Earth in their sights. Since the sun rotates, the sunspot will be visible to us, maybe in a week or two. And since strong sunspots can cause strong solar storms, this allows us to prepare for the event, if for the eventuality that there's going to be a big storm, we get a warning. This is a groundbreaking technique. It means researchers can do what was previously thought impossible predicting the arrival of a sunspot weeks before it faces Earth. <laughs> 